No, Guido. You're back. Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to another episode of the one and only world famous Stranglemania. That's right, folks. Stranglemania 2. I'm your host, Diamond Donovan Douglas, better known as. 3D, baby. And I'm handsome Harley Guistella, but to my friends, including you, 3D. Thank you. You can call me Guido. As you can see, we're coming live and direct from the world-famous Chlamydia Stadium here in Osaki, Japan. And we'll be bringing you the return of many great legends, as well as many newcomers, all doing battle in the square circle of exploding nipples. Now, now Guido, tell us who we're starting with and what we can see first here on Struggle Mania 2. Well, you might not believe he is, 3D, when I say this, but it's true. He will be strapping the tights back on and jumping back in the barbed wire. None other than... Lama Nama Numi, ladies and gentlemen. He will be taking on newcomer Hollywood Chuck Hogan in an exploding ladder barbed wire death match. That's right, and that's not all, folks. Also, we got another newcomer coming to Strangle Mania. He's been feared on the streets for years around here. You can't be talking about Armageddon, are you? That's right, asshole Andy Armageddon. Asshole Andy Armageddon. You'll see him finally. It's only been speculative rumors, but now you'll see him live and direct live asshole army andy Geddon will be taking on none other than sweet baby bitch that's right sweet baby bitch going up against awesome andy Anderson, and that's going to be in barbed wire fire not only that but they get a ninja weapon of their choice 3d that's right also first time ever seen anywhere in the world that we live in today you will see two chicks doing battle toe to toe head to head nipple to nipple and i'm talking about armageddon's younger sister sweaty ned and armageddon and she will be taking on in a barbed wire death match sweet bitch ass that's right Fierce competition like none other seen Sweet before. Sweet sugar ass will be taking on sweaty net now. Sweet again. sugar ass. And like I was saying, competition like you've never seen before between two chicks. That's right. Only on Struggle Mania 2. Now, let's talk about what we'll be viewing in just a little bit here and there. In between matches, you'll see some classic footage from 1917 from the Duck Dome in Georgia, Louisiana. That's right. Vintage footage. Vintage footage. You hear these people mention on all your local news broadcasts if you're an old man like myself. Some of you old timers might remember these names. The Fortified Hooligan will be taking on the Mass Cabana in a rare Matt Classic. We'll be showing you footage of that. Let's talk about our main event. The main event? The main event. Okay, let's talk about it then. The return of none other than Drunk Terry Flunk. 114 years old, Drunk Terry Flunk still not finished wrestling. He will be taking on the dangerous one, asshole Andy Armageddon, in an exploding ring, tangling turnbuckle, barbed wire. Uh, one second, if I could. I couldn't notice uh, this gentleman walking around behind us. Ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to mention, Guido in 3D will also be joined by the most controversial man in professional wrestling today. Introduce yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm luscious Johnny Stark. He will be offering his input on some of these razor blade death matches. Matches. Johnny, give us your predictions on the outcome. Did you also know that the Mushroom Boys will be returning today? Yes, uh, I have heard speculation that they will return my bets on Ponderosa. No okay. other speculation. Well, the only problem with this is this time the Mushroom Boys return. Yes, it's true. But this time on the same team uh, 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 instead of against each other. That's right. Ponderosa and Sweden House team up team to team this time instead of against each other like they shouldn't be. They'll be a team as one. And they'll be taking on two scrubs. We'll see plenty more. We'll see twisted and tag team action. We'll see Andy Ponderosa and a lot more. Also, now, you must be wondering why I'm wearing this Viking hat. I was just hat. about to bring that up, brother. I was going to mention something of it myself. <sighs> I'm wearing the Viking hat to symbolize the war. Because Strangle Mania 1 was ruthless, but you are going to see a war here on Strangle Mania 2. You are going to see blood, you are going to see limbs, you're going to see all types of flavor. Fuck it! Let's get down to the action! Let's go down to the ring now and wrestle! Whoa! I can feel it in my bones, Guido! I We're hear back! You, and you know, everybody's been waiting for it, everybody's been feeding for it, and here it is, Strangle Mania 2! Strangle Mania 2, and what better way to kick things off? with the return of a Matt legend, Lama Nama Numi. That's right, Lama Nama Numi of Death Matt, Death Match. Now right here, he's going up against newcomer Hollywood Chuck Hogan. The first one to the ladder gets to use it. They're counting down in Japanese, but I'll be happy to know they're down to one. Let's go. Who's going to get the barbed wire? Who's going to get the ladder? Oh, neither oh. one. 
Hollywood Chuck Hogan's got the ladder first. And he put the red upside lava on Amanumi's head. But don't forget about the coconut crunchers. You can't destroy that head as easily as Hollywood Chuck Hogan. Lava has got something in his hand. He's got something in his hand right now. He's Wait. Hey, he barely even hit the ladder that time. Nonetheless. All right. Now let me tell you something about Lama Namanumi right now. His jeans are extra tight. He usually wears them two sizes too small. Now he's got them five sizes too small because he wants the extra tingling sensation of the loss of blood in his balls. Well, enough for that later. Right now he's getting his face rammed in by the steel ladder by Hollywood Chuck Hogan. Hollywood Chuck Hogan is without a doubt one of the most dangerous men here in the Wrestling Federation. Hollywood Hogan, Hollywood Chuck Hogan, has been seen on the underground wrestling circuit for years. He was never allowed to premiere here in the major wrestling league, but now he's here because he's toned down his style now. He used to remove your balls from your penis completely. Now he just tears the skin. And you know, Guido, if you want to know something else about Hollywood Chuck Hogan, you can tell he's a Hogan by the uh, pattern or uh, haircut uh, of another Hogan. That That's he's right. To attempt to. Clearly shaving the top of the head, revealing he has no feelings of looks at whatsoever. He's not concerned with looks. Now, one man sitting at this panel that some of you might not have realized knows more about Hollywood Chuck Hogan than any of us. The man that's wrestled him many times, involved, oh. in, involved in many feuds with him, luscious Johnny Stark. Johnny, tell me what is most dangerous about this newcomer. The Stranglemania fans of Stranglemania Volume 2, they want to know what it is that makes him so ruthless besides the obvious acts like chops with the chair. Well, it would have to be the French fibula. Hollywood Chuck Hogan has been uh, very notarized for using that tactical maneuver. If you listen closely in the back, you'll hear the Chuckomaniacs. They've been saying their prayer and eating their Vicodins. And well, their I want to know what the French tickler has anything to do with this match, period. I want you to speculate on what exactly that is and what we can expect to see out of Lama and Amanubi. I don't want any surprises. This is dangerous. This is not bullshit. Well, you want to know something, 3D? I'll tell you the truth about Hollywood Chuck Hogan. New Corbin and Stranglemania, he might be, yes. But newcomer to death matches and professional wrestling. Oh! No. As Lama right Namanubi just healing himself off that ladder, stuck in the face, chest, and abdominal stretch area. And uh, now, Hollywood Chuck Hogan says him coconut first into the corner, 3D. Now I've seen this, I've seen him do this before on the underground. Oh! Oh, God. right in the bread basket. <laughs> Clearly a dangerous type match. Now you might have seen a ladder match before, but have you ever seen a barbed wire coated ladder razor death kick to the boot face match? Many times in my career there, 3D, many, many times. You also know on Lama Manumi, he enjoys promoting himself by wearing himself on his, on his fucking t-shirt. Now another reason Lama Namanumi wears the, the jeans, the uh, Wrangler jeans, five sizes too tight, is to reveal that he has no hidden objects. He has been accused of using Foreign objects in the past, and you don't fucking play that shit, because all you see in his jeans are two balls and a dick. Because it's that tight, he might as well have been poured into those shit jeans, and that speculation is over. You know he has no foreign objects. On top of that, he enjoys wearing the tight jeans so the bitches can see his ball outline and his meat outline in his chick jeans, because the women love his dick. Now, Lama Namanubi has told me many times that he wears a thong. He wears a thong, thus his ass form. Enough about his ass. They're in the crowd right now. This death match is supposed to be taking place in the ring. And there you see him hitting him in the coconut. Oh. And Lama Namanubi is not having getting hit in the coconut. Coconut cruncher, bam. Now there he goes, rubbing his, ramming his coconut cruncher right into the rubber mat. The, the head of uh, Hollywood Chuck yes, Hogan. Yes, uh, uh, refrain yourself. I don't see any rubber masks in this match, 3D. Now I want everybody to know right now, even a veteran like Hollywood Chuck Hogan is not fully aware of the head. The head that comes on Lama Namanubi. The head we saw send Deadly Fred into convulsions. The head we saw send Cactus Sack into kleptospasms. The right. same head that put me out of my career for over three years. That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. Johnny used to wrestle Lama Namanubi all the time as his tag team partner. Lama Namanubi turned on Luster's Johnny and uh, gave him a coconut cruncher Luster's and Johnny, him out of commission. You're new to the broadcast table here it's with me true. and Guido. I want you to know that I think you're man enough I think you're a good man for mentioning that. I wasn't going to bring it up, but well, since you brought it up, I might as well let the cat out of the bag. He kicked your fucking ass. For five years, he beat your fucking ass all over the Orient. He beat your ass up and down the mountains of Hawaii, well, up and down the cactuses of Phoenix, up and down the fucking arts of St. Louis. He beat your fucking ass everywhere you look, east side, west side, Chicago, 3D. Yes, it's, if it's, I may interject, uh, Luscious Johnny in 3D, 
I would like to know whether well, people, I know all about it already, but the people at home perhaps would like to know your two wrestling backgrounds with and against each other. Well, myself, I've been in the Federation for about 18 years. One, I had to take a... Uh, two, no! Oh, almost a pin, but he returned. I had to take a short leave because of my alcoholism. And uh, right. now Lama Namanumi had put me out. We, me and Johnny, it's, it, we're talking about Lama Namanumi and Hollywood Chuck Hogan. Me and Luscious Johnny Stark's wrestling career have nothing to do with this. I'm not going to talk about what happened when we wrestled each other. I'm not going to bring that up. That, that has that everything was, to do with the 3D. That was many years ago. Don't start on me already, Guido. God damn it. There it is. There it is. Front face back DDT face cruncher. That was the Falcon Dove Slam right there in the middle of the ring. Now, notice Hollywood Chuck Hogan's baseball pants because he used to play baseball for the Cleveland A's back in 1975. And he also likes them because they're two sizes tighter than the tights of the normal wrestling. Oh, they're not oh, as tight as Lama Lama Newbies. Don't let him steal Lama Lama Newbies trademark already. Now look at this. Right here's oh. a perfect example that Lama Lama Newbie knows how to handle a man like Hollywood Chuck Hogan. He took him right out in the crowd because the ring means nothing in a death match. Now you notice that Hollywood Chuck Hogan perhaps has had a few too many loaves of bread with extra butter. He's got somewhat of a, uh, uh, a love handle of what not surround his stomach. We won't talk about that well, right your environment now, is a great situation in a wrestling tactical maneuver, I'll have you know. That's right, and that's no question that the death match, the environment is anywhere in the building. Now, Hollywood Chuck Hogan with a power slam. There it goes, and if you'll notice, Tweedy and Luscious Johnny, there you this see whole the... match has been seesawed, but if you'll notice, the, the uh, uh, Hollywood Chuck Hogan has been on top for most of the match, and Lama Lama Numi has been on the floor bleeding out of his coconut profusely. Now, right there, that power slam is the very reason why Lama Lama Numi has a flat ass. He could have had a very round, voluptuous ass. We won't talk no. about his ass right now. Now, watch this right here. God so help me if he power bombs him out of that ladder, I'm going to have to do something about it. He's setting him up for the Norwegian tactic. closure. Right there. Oh, no. Oh, oh my my God. God. Right on the fucking ladder. Not only did he power bomb on the fucking ladder, but that ladder is wrapped in barbed wire. Hit that it. fucking son of a bitch. Dude, no. Oh, you can't so just close. And look at, he's pissed off. He's jumping around like a raving retard. He's like, God damn it. One power bomb wasn't enough. Perhaps he'll try it again. He's going to try it again right here. He heard you. He's going to do it right here live at Stranglemania 2. No. The oh, oh, the inverted Universal. Frankensteiner right there before your eyes. Right there before your eyes. There is one. Two, to oh. execute it with complete perfection. And if you will, if you notice, oh. there it is, coconut crunch oh. crunchers. Now right here, he's gonna go for the, uh, there it was. Brother Nelson. It's a good thing that Hollywood Chuck Hogan has that protective layer on his face. Now right there, Lama Lama Numi knew Hollywood Chuck Hogan was in no position to be pinned, yet he tried holding his shoulders down for real. What, what was the that? hell just happened? Did he pin him? I beg to disagree. He, in fact, uh, Now, wait a goddamn down. minute! I monitor down. I didn't see shit. Wait a fucking minute! Listen what here, the hell Donovan. was that? Wait a minute! He Who's clearly this? won the match. Wait oh, my minute. God! It's Rudy Mill. I knew it. Now, that was clearly wrong. He did not get the pinfall. Rudy Mills come out from the dressing room. What's but, Rudy Mill doing out here? God damn it. He has no fucking business in the ring. He seems race. to be spitefully talking That's to Lama right. Nama Nooney. Now, wait a minute. He's taunting him. He's pushing him on the shot. fucking chest. Rudy Mill. Is, oh, uh, they're choking each other. I can't real. believe what I'm seeing. What the hell's going on here? Rudy Mill knows that that was an unfair count. And Rudy Millers came out to justify the wrestling. And Wait, then, there you see Texas Toast, Terry Williams. And, and also the enforcer, Tony Ankelip, is out in the ring right now. Oh! And Ankelip gives him a super eagle boy clothesline. That right there is a dirty Dutch wrestler. Oh. Well, let's go to some other footage. God damn it. Now, this right here is some classic footage, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. You see there in the corner. Right here from the Duck Dome. 1914, a classic match. The old timers, the old timers remember these people perfectly. The that match. is right the there match. in control of the match. It's none other than a fortified hooligan. That's right, no, a great oh, match legend. And you'll see in the white right there, throwing the real punchers. It would seem, that is the mass cabana. Now let me tell you something about the mass cabana. You mentioned that those punches look real, Johnny. Now, when you began your career, they were finishing theirs. How has wrestling differed from back then till to now? Well, I was just going to mention that. If you notice, there's a lot more aerial and leg work in wrestling of today. Shut the fuck up. Let's get into some more present wrestling. Let's get into more, some more present wrestling excitement. We'll get back to this match later. I just wanted to show it to the people to show them how, oh, how style whack, whack wrestling was back in the day. Wrestling this was shit is stupid. It's time to turn this shit off because it's fucking dumb. 
All right, well, here you go, Guido. Here's some fucking present wrestling. Right there, the big fat stuffed faggot. That man is known as Andorino Pandarina. And I can't, look at this motherfucker holding the ropes open, wearing some Bruce Jenner shorts. Now, here goes some perfectly fine. What the fuck is this guy doing? He's stupid as fuck. And people are patting his Ultraman head. Guido, please. Now, this pisses me off when I see stupid fucks come in the ring doing head springs. This is a great matchup, classic matchup from today's wrestling oh, style. Oh, fucking pen and bear faggot attacks uh, Ultraman. Now, Ultra Bitch is not, is clearly not in top physical form because this it's obviously cloudy outside today well, at the uh, nipple arena. Yes, it's true. There's no sun out. The seems to be an overcast, and you can see uh, that Ultra Puss is clearly not in the best condition he could be in. Now, uh, the fact of the matter is, whether he's in good condition or poor condition, the fact of the matter is, is that the fat guy in the panda bear suit looks like a big, fat, cuddly faggot. And I don't know what the fuck we're even doing watching this bullshit fucking match. I don't know. But I don't, There's not even any goddamn thumbtacks in this I motherfucker. I want to put it out. This asshole in the fucking bear suit's making me mad. 3D. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. Let's get into some more wrestling footage. I'm going down there. I'm zipping that fucking zip on his back, pulling him out of the bear suit, and kicking his fucking balls in so he can't fuck men no more. Now, let's go on back to some more. I'm sorry about this. It was a mix-up in the library. All right, here we go. Newcomer to the Stranglemania. Newcomer to Stranglemania, Guido, but he is not a newcomer to professional wrestling, and he is not That's a newcomer right. to the death match. And sweet baby bitch in the way. Squaring up against asshole Andy Armageddon with the Kabuki face. Now, until now, until we brung it to Stranglemania, asshole Andy Armageddon has just been a rumor. Asshole Amy, Andy Armageddon has just been speculatively existing. And but if now, you notice, Amy Geddon's got the forearm protectors with the spikes coming off it so he can wrap it in people's faces and knock them out. And on top of that, M.P. Geddon's got people outside of the ring with the press. You'd like to tell the wrestling fans watching Strangle May now who the fuck they are. 3D. Now there goes, he just got a, He just got an item from his manager, uh, Lonesome Chicky Star, and he's going to use it right now in the ring. Now listen, as I was saying before, you rudely cut me off. Asshole Andy Armageddon has been a, a rumor Almost a phantom in the wrestling world, Johnny. It's true. People have not thought he existed because he's only wrestled in the in the underworld. He's only wrestled in the the uh, illegal after-hour bars of Japan, and he has never wrestled on the main circuit. But we have brought him forth, and we have put him against a a well-loved pansy little bitch. And I'm talking about Sweet Baby Bitch. That's right. Sweet That's Baby true. Bitch is known for his fucking tactics of crying in the ring. And trying to fiddle with men's balls. Sweet baby bitch often cries like a newborn woman on several occasions in the middle of the ring. That's because he's over emotional. But now he has to put his emotions aside and get his strategies together because he is going up against what has been feared for the last 107 years. And I'm talking about Armageddon, the asshole Andy Armageddon. 3D, I'd like to bring up a fact right now. Well, it's not really a fact, it's speculation. I'd like to speculate on right now that fucking uh, sweet baby bitch. Perhaps maybe uh, we've seen before in a stupid faggot panda bear suit. <laughs> That's clearly speculation. That, in fact, was spectacular Tony Vassaro that you've seen in the panda suit. That's not for anybody to speculate. Oh, my uh, God, you see him. Ram right upside, Andy Kenton's head. I'd like to make a chain. point. I'd I like want to go ahead, Johnny. All right, well, if you notice, Triple A has, a, has, a, the has a heavy metal descent to him with the King Diamond Kabuki face paint and the metal um, Iron Mike Shark wristbands, if you will. Listen to me, the reason I brought this match, aside of what you guys are discussing right now here All at right. Mania, the reason I brought this match and I wanted to show the people oh. this match is I wanted to just make a point right now that Sweet Baby Bitch is a fan favorite, a a baby-faced little bitch. Well, this is true. Now, he it does not break true. the rules of wrestling. He is, a, he is a great competitor, amateur style, and on the opposite side of the ring, you've got asshole Andy Armageddon, and he is the ultimate rule breaker. And this is the ultimate match of good versus bad, goddammit. And also, if you notice, too, 3D and Luscious Johnny, for some stupid fucking reason, asshole Andy Geddon, Armageddon, whatever the fuck, Armageddon, he doesn't have shoes on for some strange reason. He doesn't have shoes on because he likes to kick with the heel. His heels, now, as Johnny will tell you, both of his heels have been reconstructive surgery on, and they have lead implants into the heel area. Well, actually, it's a lead and plastic-based product that builds up the ankle. Wait a second. Hold on a minute. 
I just seen Brutus the Butcher Beefcake out there. That was Brutus the Butcher. He is uh, resurfacing in the foundation. He will be back. Right there, another later. weapon. There it is. There it is. The hand claw given him by his manager, Lonesome Chicky Star. He has got the hand claw now. This is where the match comes to an end. See, now Sweet Baby Bitch that has is no totally idea. uncalled for. That hey, is damn it. Digging into the back of Sweet Baby Ass. Sweet Baby I Bitch. I can't believe this. Sweet Baby Bitch expected a fair grappling match. Look at but this. what he got. He's is pulled this. the flesh off his back. I would I have never that. allowed Ow. anything like that in my days of refereeing. Well, let, let me, me tell, tell you, you that something. much. Back in the day when you used to wrestle, you were a pussy. Everybody that wrestled were pussies. Nowadays, they oh wrestle with ninja God. claw weapons. Right there, the ninja claw tearing into the back area of Sweet Baby Bitch. Sweet Baby Bitch is in trouble for one reason. He did not expect it to happen. He did not expect fucking asshole Andy. Oh, my God. The poor man is crying, for God's sake. Oh, Where my is he God. Coming with this? Face. Right in the oh! That is uncalled for. Jeez. Where the hell is the ref oh on there? Oh my this? God, look at it sticking it to his back. That little son of a oh bitch. That fucking son of a bitch outside, on some cheeky star, has been handing him weapons through this whole match. Now there you have the, the sickle, the fucking comma sickle, sticking right into the... Oh, ah! again. Oh. He put it right into his heart. Adding injury to insult already. This is ridiculous. He's going to fucking kill him 3D. He's now right here, death. right here is something that I did not expect. I thought that uh, fucking Nebel Nitten or whatever the fuck his name is was gonna have some kind of a uh, heart in going up against Sweet Panty Bitch. No Let me man. Tell you Sweet Baby Balls came into this match not knowing it was a death match. When he came in, Armageddon, uh, asshole Armageddon, started pulling out the ninja weapons Guido, Guido. and beating him with them. No man should withstand that many blows to the bread basket without bleeding so profusely. Now listen, Sweet Baby Balls had no idea what was going to happen when he climbed into the ring. He was stupid. That's the only thing I can say. Everybody's heard the rumors since you were boys at camp. You heard the rumors about uh, Rusty Nipple Nedden and the tactics he brings to the ring. And now you're seeing it. You're not just hearing the rumors. Yeah, well, a barbed wire there, bat. There you it. see. There you see. Going for it. Going for it. The barbed wire biscuit. Yes, again. And he hits him across the back. I don't see why he don't take a full swing this on his face. In my opinion, right Guido, now. in my opinion, Guido, oh, in my opinion, God. Luscious, it's sweet, sweet, sour, it's is a total fucking moron for not expecting this. I agree, I'll he may be what. provoking it, but that is totally uncalled This for. motherfucker outside the ring, Lonesome Chicken Star, he keeps handing these deadly weapons, he's gonna fucking kill somebody. That's exactly what I've been trying to tell you, Guido. When they were wrestlers on the underground circuit, the illegal underworld of wrestling, that's exactly what they did was kill people. That's why they're so legendary at being ruthless and dangerous. Well, I'll tell you something. Sweet baby bitch was never no underground nothing. He's been a little fucking pansy asshole bitch his whole fucking life. And you'll see, he's, oh, he got the bat out of his hands. Sweet baby pamper balls has got the spike bat, and now he's going to wrap it around the fucking dick and pussy oh. of Andy Armageddon. And you're right, he scraped it right across the fucking pussy. That's right, in case some of you didn't know it, Andy Armageddon is a hermaphrodite. He does have a pussy hole underneath his nuts. Not to discuss his personal problems or benefits as some might see it. He does have a vagina underneath his dick. Why, right, right there, he gave him a DDT and didn't and he even let hold him it. fucking go, that stupid asshole fucking asshole. Stupid fucking asshole, Andy Armageddon just run right down to the fucking mat like a dumbass. Oh, there we go. Now, if you notice, he's swinging pretty gingerly with that baseball bat. Sweet. Oh, oh the green mist. The baby. green mist of poisonous gas. And we've seen that twice so far in this match, and yet for a third time. They're right going to blow some chicky dick. And he, oh, oh, he caught him. He distracted him right there. He hit him right in the fucking face with a chair and fuck distracted him. Now, who's got the burning bat? Once again, it's sweet fluffy balls, hitting him with that spike bat, hitting Armageddon in the fucking fat pussy gut. That's right, fucking fluffy rabbit ass has got the flaming fucking uh, barbed wire bat. And what's he gonna do with it, 3D? Luscious Johnny. Oh, what right into the stomach. Yes. Luscious Johnny. Yes. I need to know what's your analyzation. Oh my God. More green mist. I heard, Luscious Johnny, you know the ingredients in that green mist spew, and I want to know what the hell's in it. Uh, I'm not at liberty to give that information Give us the away. goddamn information, Johnny! Actually, it's green food coloring, but uh, you didn't uh, hear that from uh, me. <laughs> maybe we can edit that out uh, afterwards. sorry. All right, anyway, now, look at this right here. Now you're seeing Armageddon with the bat on the floor, ramming 
pansy balls into it. Sweet baby bitch had no idea what was coming, and now he's out for the count. One. I'll guarantee you that. He, he pulled him up. up. He pulled that fucking pansy faggot, faggot little bitch balls off the mat. Now he's going to swing him into the ropes and rip him in the face with that fire barbed wire. Oh, oh my hot. God. That's hot. And That's hot. Says, one, two, three. He gets him. Sweet dog balls. Doesn't fucking hold a chance when it comes to death matches. He used to fucking uh, have pussy matches where he fights feeble women, my, skinny my, women. My, my, Guido, how wrestling has changed from the 1920s. Let's go back to our Matt Classic right now. Look at the flying, or the uh, mass cabana going up against the... Uh, flying Filippio. The fly, no, no. The fucking fortified hooligan. Yes, it's there true. he is. Now the fortified hooligan wearing the black spandex is, is, is uh, using karate... Karate chops. Karate. Karate. I'm sorry. Karate. And you can obviously tell that right up uh, the, the fucking banana is getting his ass whipped. There's this manager right there. That's that, right. That is the manager of the mass cabana. No, no, no. Then Wolf Pucker style. No, you're wrong. That was his manager in the 30s. Right here was manager Vinny Stefienko. Hold up for that. Let's get back to some more present day footage. He fell on his own fucking head. This is stupid. We'll return to this fucking old bullshit later on. Let's get back into this. Now here we got Power Boy. A and fucking Scott. Power Boy and Scott. And they're going up against the big return of the Mushroom Boy. Ponderosa and Sweet House making their way down to the barbed wire circle. The two fat, sweaty, lovable butterballs are back in the circuit. You either want to grab their fat chunks and squeeze and hug them, or you want to cuddle up with them in the fucking Arctic nights. Hey, Nonetheless, they're fat and jelly bags. I don't want either of those fucking options greedy, and I wouldn't appreciate you bringing me up in your secret fetishes with fat people. Such a fucking hole. Now, here we are in the middle of the match. Look at Sweden House screaming like a newborn woman. Yes, you can see him still shitting his pants. He's Look still shitting. He's so oh, fucking oh, scared. Fucking bitch. Now let's talk about Power Boy. Let the fans know. I'll tell you about Power Boy. Power Boy is a fucking stupid fucking asshole wearing a Power Ranger suit and he fucking sucks. That's right. And if you'll notice, his partner, Scott, what you... has got to be one of the fucking out of shape, lameless, wackest fucking rectors I've ever seen in my life. Let me tell you something about Scott Guido. If his biker shorts were any tighter, you'd see the veins in his dick. Ah! Oh my God. I can't believe that you just said that. I didn't say Look, that. Just because he's wearing poop pumps don't mean you can stare at his dick 3D. Now, Luscious Johnny, tell yes. me how the barbed wire affects the loopy fat of Sweeten House. Well, it cuts through the layers of cellulite in a painful fashion. All right. Now, look at Power Boy. That fucking asshole. Change your camera. I don't want to look at those poop fucking asses. Power Boy's got a fucking $12 Walmart Halloween costume. Oh! That's right. He got his whole wrestling outfit and came with a plastic bag. He opened the top, pulled it out, strapped it on, and walked down to the ring with Scott. Look at this right here. Scott's the one in the biker shorts. Scott looks, you know, he looks like shit. That fucking idiot. These are jobbers, ladies and gentlemen. We can't deny it, Guido. No. We can't deny it. After all, this is Strangle Mania 2. Settle down, goddammit. Now, if you want to notice two. something, you want to notice something here. What? Fat ass fucking piece of fucking fat flop of fuck Sweden House and his partner, Butterball ass fucking Ponderosa. Now, now oh, watch God. this right here. Listen, listen. listen. Listen right here closely. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, to the pain. Listen. Wait a second. Power Boy's grabbing his balls from the back. That's why. Dumbart screams of pain. Dumbart screams of enjoyment. Right fucking camera work. By camera work number three. Camera man number three. Harvey. Harvey. Uh, Cripple Terrell. Now, if you notice something, like I was saying before, 3D. Slow motion on the barbed wire to the neck area. Is that my Luscious mother? Johnny, back yeah. in your day of wrestling, did they stick the barbed wire into the mouth like they're doing right now on fat-ass Ponderosa? I'm going to have to say never in the mouth or tongue area, no. Where did they stick the barbed wire? Usually was it in the... only in the pits of an anus, or was it actually around the genitals as well? Around the ass cheek area, never in the crack, slowly towards the bottom. All right. I've also heard that back in the day they didn't really use barbed wire, so you must have been using something else. Go back to the match now. Right there, a fucking power bomb by Sweet House. Now he's, he's trying to fuck him. He's got him in the book. Right there, he's dry humping Scott. That's right, Scott has now has dune streaks and his boom booms. That's disgusting. 
I'm well, what do you want, goddammit? I'm not the one dying in a dry fucking right barbed wire. Right there! Oh! Into the barbed wire! Right there! Right back like a, a week looking clothesline. clothesline. Scott looks like he came to the match riding a mountain bike. Now! And not as a wrestler. Back to what I was saying ten minutes ago. I kept getting rudely interrupted. Now, Ponderosa and Sweetenhouse are very good at fighting each other. But for some reason, whenever I see them fight anybody else, including losers like right Powerboy and Scott, they get their fucking asses whipped. Right there, you can clearly see the bar where I wasn't even hitting his arm. Scott has no idea what he's doing in the ring. For Christ's sake, he's got leg warmers on. Get that fucking pansy faggot out of the ring and get some real competition for Sweetenhouse and Panderosa. Now, I want to bring something up, 3D, that we haven't brought too much up in this match right now. What? If you'll notice the fucking, uh... The large exteriors, uh, you might want to say, of uh, the fat fucking mushroom asses. Both of these gentlemen look like big loopy bags, sandwich bags of brown water to me. That's true. Now, let's just, Johnny, perhaps you could uh, give your input on uh, your opinion of the athletic shape of the mushroom boys. I feel for uh, as large and great mass of people that they are, they're very skilled and agile for fat pieces of shit. Well, I'd like to bring a large friend of mine to give me a demonstration. I'd like to bring him to the table. You know, mine, Guido. I'd like to bring him to the table. He can tell me what it's like being a wrestler as a large man. Please welcome 475 pound Big Grim Tim from Barrel Saga, Mississippi. Grim Tim, how you doing? Howdy, Now, you're a large man, and you've been wrestling on the independent scene there in Mrs. Saga, Mississippi. Tell me about what it's like wrestling with your large frame. Well, uh, I haven't had too many matches. I fought a uh, marvelous Marty Milkweight in my first bout last Sunday. Oh, so you've just become a wrestler. Well, uh, I've Tell me about training. what it's like maneuvering your fat ass in the ring. Is it harder? Is it your advantage? Is it a disadvantage? Tell the listeners of Thunder Media. Well, I wrestle oh in nothing but my red panties in a pair of boots. So it's pretty much agileness. And I have a, a, a slight tactical advantage. What's that? Oh, my, my boots. Yeah. Right. Enough of that. Back to the match. Sweethouse tries climbing to the top rope and falls off, just like he always does because he's fat and he's greasy like a big fat fucking ball of potato shit. Once again, Sweethouse making a fool out of himself here at Stranglemania. Now look at that big round ball of melted fucking shit. That's what they both look like. Two big fat. Balls of shit wrapped in a fucking white blanket. Two both of them. Big fat fucking piece of shit, round saucers of warm pudding. And they're fucking so slippery, sweaty, and fat that I can't lie. I wish I could strip down naked 3D? and slide all over their fat stomach. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 3D, it looks like he's going for your patented move, the flying jalapeno. There it is! Oh. He landed One, it right on Scott. Two. And three, he got the That's pin. the way there to take it, it Once home. again, the Mushroom Boys victorious. Let's go back to our vintage footage once again. And you'll see the Masked Cabana getting his ass whipped by the Fortified Hooligan. The Fortified Hooligan was a dangerous competitor, one of the first. Now you'll notice the concern of the manager up on the apron. Yes, the manager is up on the apron. He's looking at his boy get his fucking ass beat. He's getting hit by real karate. Now here comes Valerius. Vinny uh, Stefienko dragging the Mask Cabana back into the corner. Let's see what he's got Let's to say. Let's get some camera work and see what they're saying right now. Listen. What's the matter with him? I swear he's trying to kill you. That fellow's not the Black Mask. He's been using karate on me. And he could kill me with one blow. Listen, I'll ask that they suspend the match, Samson. No, I'm going to see this thing through to the end. But you're crazy. He's trying to murder you. I've already been warned about this. Then he stepped me up, go, leave him alone, and let the mask commander do what he does best, and that's wrestling. Now there's a champion. Now you don't see that kind of sportsmanship in wrestling today. See, he clearly thought it was the black mask, but it wasn't. It was a fortified hooligan. Back to some present day wrestling. Now I still admit that even the next star we're going to see, drunk Terry Flunk, even though he's 95 years old, he doesn't possess that kind of willpower in the ring. And there who the he is. fuck is this asshole he's with? A nobody. We're not even going to bring up his fucking jobber partner. Looks I think mean, like, he's got a stupid fucking red patch in his head. Looks eyes. like a fucking, looks like Scott again, only wearing some red briefs. It appears he, oh my God. Here they come. The total, total package. package. Freddy, Freddy Luger. Total package, Freddy Luger. And his partner, Scary Woody. 
This is twisted! And he's scaring the shit out of the crowd, even though he ain't no bigger than a normal ninja. There's Scary Woody. Scary Woody. Scary Woody is fucking absolutely, unbelievably dangerous. His partner, the total package, Freddy Luger, collectively known as Twisted, they have terrorized the Japanese streets since they came out in 19 fucking 92. And there he is, 98 old year old drunk Terry Flood, hitting him with those weak ass old punches on the masked face of the total package Freddy Luger and Scary Wardy. His body looks like soft, watery felt because he's so, because he's so old. He looks like a fucking eggplant more than he does a wrestler. He looks like a sun-dried prune. He looks and, like a, a meat in cold water. And there he is wearing the disco stripes and the and fucking... And he just did the spinning neck twister spin. His muscles have turned into melted silly putty. And That's he's right. still a wrestler. There he's got the total package, Freddy Luger, into the ropes. And, oh, they both collide. They're both stunned. We know they're both stunned. That's right. But no, not stunned enough. Here it is. There well, it is. The, the double wind up. Crunch. The double wind up. The cricket trap crunch. He's got it on. For, oh, no. Oh, he wait, wait. Gary Woody. The same thing. Oh. The cricket trap crunch. It's all over, Guido. It's Luger. all over. Back oh, my God. Total package. Back to Freddy Luger. He's signaling for it. He's there it, it is. over. Oh, there it is. And there it is, the cricket crab crunch. I want to go to something new right now because this is wrapped up. He let's gets go to, up. Let's go to something brand new. Right here, joined in progress. Two women wrestling each other Three. in the bar wire. 3D, yes. luscious Johnny. Yes. Now this shit right here is something that's never been seen on national television like it is today. Before we even begin discussing the politics of this match, let it be known. I'd probably fuck the fat chick, but I'd fuck the shit out of that young one. Let me tell you I'd bend her in so many styles. She thinks she knows how to wrestle. I'd bend her fucking knees behind her head and stick her head up her ass and roll her back and forth across my butt. That's all fine and dandy, 3D. But that fat bitch's name, she's none less, none other than Asshole Andy Armageddon's little sister. Asshole Andy Armageddon's little sister. Sweaty Nedden, Sweaty Nedden Armageddon. Sweaty Nedden Armageddon. And then hot. Oh! Oh my God! The electrified friends right of death. Right off the bat. Now I that little sexy bitch has got her fucking asshole shot. That is our uh, sweet sugar ass. Sweet sugar ass versus what's that? Sweaty fucking loopy net number and, again. And uh, now I want to bring the hold on, Lucy Johnny. I want to bring something right. up right here. Okay. Now, God damn it, this fat bitch with the red fucking mohawk. She looks like she might be asshole and young again. That's all I'm saying. Okay, well, well, well. Much like her brother Triple A, she is also skilled in the exciting uh, Tahitian toehold potato wedge. That's right. She does have that movement. Oh, right there is my oh, she's right in the crotch. And I do oh that to her right down God. on my living room floor and fuck the shit out. Two, three. Now wait a minute. So close. I'm not saying that right there. I'm not saying that sweet. What's her name? Sweet, sexy ass. Yes. Sweet. Tell her, get the fucking name, we don't. Ned and Package. Sweet Sexy Ass. I'm not saying that Sweet Sexy Ass is the most unbelievably stacked woman. Her ass does look like a fucking cookie sheet, but I definitely fuck her nonetheless. Her ass looks somewhat like somebody stuffed a shoebox down the back up. of her pants. That's right. Now there it goes, the airplane spin throbble neck squeezer. That's yeah. right. And there goes, she got her legs open for everybody to enjoy peaks and views of her net. There, right there, you're getting a good look at a fat dyke. Right there. Let with me the tell fucking you pink hair and the fat rolls and the fucking loopy titties. I don't give a fuck what you say, 3D. And I don't give a fuck what you say, Luscious Johnny. Whoa. As far as I'm concerned, that's asshole or, or Andy Armageddon. It could very well be asshole Andy Armageddon. But Andy Armageddon can handle himself in a ring with men. He doesn't have to come in the ring and wrestle this skinny little bitch. I mean, come on. What would somebody like me or you do to that bitch in a real fight? I'd peel her fucking... It bikini off and squeeze her nipples and twist them like I'm tuning a guitar amp. It looks to me like that's the killer camel toe hold she's getting ready to apply. Yes, it is. Right there. She's holding up in the air. The referee's going to pull her pants down and fuck her. Now, right there, is it, it, before we get carried away in the amateur skills we're seeing, let it be known the ring is wrapped in barbed wire. And if you hit the barbed wire, an electric shock will fry the insides of your netting, being a woman that they are. It would just tickle your balls if you're a man, because it's a less charge. It only frizzles your nut hairs. But to them, it'll completely bake the hair pie. This bitch 
with a stupid fucking red piece on top of a fat piece of fucking dyke fat flop of shit head. I fucking hate her. Now it's very well bitch. known fat chicks know how to fucking give good head. Oh, yeah, but, but oh my god, oh, so was, close. But she hits the baseball side. Oh! Says the fat bitch right to the park. Her ass is smoking. I think that. it's the, oh, there oh, he is. There he is, He's sweet crying. baby bitch. Sweet baby bitch is the, it's well known, sweet baby bitch is sweet sugar ass's boyfriend. Now he is ringside crying like a pansy little bitch. That's why you can see the tears running down his stupid fucking face. Fuck, why are you letting your fine looking bitch wrestle in his back? She's going to come back looking like Freddy Luger, all scarred up and oh, charred God. up and fucking ugly. And you're still going to fuck her, you sick bastard, because you're a wrestler. I want to bring something up. Perhaps you can help me with this, luscious Johnny Stark. All right. Why the fuck is that stupid referee wearing goggles? Well, that's because uh, earlier there was an in-tank swimming fish hole match. And oh. it's carried on through. There you see her getting ready to set up Look for the it. pubic punch. Of flesh hanging off her ass, connected to the ropes. Oh, God. What ass? Oh, that big shoebox oh. in her fucking ass. Her ass looks like a fucking ironing board sideways, long and flat. But I'd nonetheless stick my dick right in between them. There you see Sweaty Ned in trying to free loose and get the areola Ladies areola. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry, but I want to bring another guest to the table if I can. Sure. We have a female wrestler. She comes from St. Paul, Minnesota. Her name is Jenny. Jenny's going to tell us all about what it's like wrestling when you've got the weight of two fat jelly, jelly bags of titty hanging off your chest and one big fat jelly bag hanging off your stomach. Now, Jenny is a female wrestler with large breasts, and she's going to tell us what the aerialistics are different than being a male wrestler as being a, a women wrestler, whatever. And Jenny, also the areola sticks. And the areola and how the areola feels when it's charged by electrified barbed wire. Jenny, please tell us about wrestling with your titties. I'm not a wrestler. Jenny. Yeah? Fucking tell them about what it's like wrestling when you're a woman and you've got titties. Tell them. You mean like Chuck Hogan? You're a stupid fat fucking bitch. You Get the are. fuck out of here. I don't wrestle. Get out of here, bitch. Stop my hair. I fucking told her. I'm that sorry. Stupid we fuck. I hate, I hate you for bringing that bitch I'm in. sorry. Now look right there. You see that standard position right there? That's right. That's how I bend her over my bed and bang her box out right from behind. That's called the reversal neck buster. That's right. Now that chick right there, in this match right here, you'll notice that Andy Armageddon's younger sister, Sweaty Ned and Armageddon. Sweaty Ned and Armageddon has got the weight advantage, if you will. Well, she's oh, a big fat fucking bitch. She's got the weight advantage, and you look at the little frail, jumping bomb angel type young young, young lady that's gonna probably get her fucking ass kicked. If you wanna know something, we actually joined this match in progress. She, she was like, throwing her, she's too fat. She, she was like, no more. she whispered in the other girls there, I ain't taking that bump, bitch. Fuck you. you know like I was saying, they joined the match in progress. Look at the CT. Where before it, she gave her a fucking inverted atomic leg buster on the fucking uh, barbed wire and ripped one of her pant legs off. Now, a lot of the viewers more, uh, more, uh, a lot of the more, uh, noticeable, uh, you know, Fucking you know this, observant this viewers. match. Wow, well, there you go. A lot of our more observant viewers will notice the CT on sweaty Ned and Armageddon's uniform. That means cock tease because she's a dyke. She doesn't like dicks. She rubs on your cock. I'm sorry, Green. I got to bring out the facts. Well, let me tell you I'm something a sportscast anyway. journalist. She rubs on your cock and then goes and fucks another fat chick just like herself. I wouldn't let that bitch rub on my cock for fucking all the money in the world and fucking all the fucking skins in the world. Right there, right oh. there. Right there. Sunset flip, clear as day. And I would walk up and fuck her just like that. Right there, the position, right there, I just start rubbing on that. And look at, I clearly see the ref slip his fingers into our asshole. God damn it, shut up, Guido. You didn't see that? Quit pointing allegations. That's what we caught the lawsuits from Stungham 81. Look at, there it goes again. Oh. Right there, reverse. Oh, DDT front. Back necker. That was open called the face move. burrito slam. Yes, open face burrito slam executed perfectly by sexy El sexy sugar ass. That's sexy right. sassafras sugar ass. <laughs> <laughs>
If you look here, this bout reminds me of a similar bout with Sandy Richter and the fabulous Molehead. That's right. Many From years back ago. in the archives when I was merely a rookie. Ladies Before and gentlemen, this is Strangle Mania 2. The first time you have ever witnessed women wrestling in barbed wire electrified death matches. matches. Guido, tell them how long they've been doing this and why they do it so rarely. Oh my God, the jewels broke her neck. Well, I'll tell you, 3D. God damn it, this is Strangle fucking Mania 2. And these bitches, this fat bitch, I don't know how long she's been wrestling because I think she used to be a fucking man. She used to go by the name Asshole Andy Armageddon. Quit speculating that! She's God rubbing the net in profusely. Ow, she sure is. I noticed Ow. some color in the arm. Sweet ass, sweet ass fucking sugar ass, whatever the fuck her stupid name is. Now this bitch, she's been wrestling since back in the days of fucking uh, rock and wrestling. She was a rock and wrestler. It's true. Yes, and uh, she used to rock and roll and wrestle at the same time. Now, right there is the abdominal Praying Mantis Slam. And look, she's trying to fuck her because she's got a dick. She doesn't have a dick. She actually has a strap on, but nonetheless, that has nothing to do with the match. Now, there you go again. There you see, also stands for Crooked Titty because one of her titties has a nipple that faces the left instead of right out at you. I've seen her shirtless. She walks around in the dressing room with one nipple looking at you, the other nipple looking at the fire extinguisher on the wall That's to right. left. She's well, got she, nipples on the side of her titties instead of front, and they call her cross, cross titties, cross-eyed titties. Well, she's actually the widow of uh, famous wrestler Bart Hangnail Wagner. Uh, oh, my God! There it was! There it was! Two. Over the cover! The, oh, no! We're so close. Now, listen to me, Guido. Listen to me fucking carefully. That fucking yeah. bitch. Sweet baby bitch is sitting ringside watching his wife receive a beating by he a has, fucking another man, by a man dressed as a woman. He has got to be feeling this right now. It has to hurt inside. He's sitting ringside, and look at how good that bitch looks. After this match, she's going to oh, look. Oh, wait, a reversal. A reversal. Two, and the, no. Almost a sunset. Now, right there, sweet, sexy ass just realized why they call her Sweaty Ned, and she found out the hard way. She got she a, a face, face full of Ned. God That's damn it. Right, Guido. right in her mouth. The fucking love bump was in her fucking teeth. Now, the spandex is holding a lot of the apparent weight into Armageddon. I've seen it before. Sweaty Ned naked looks more like a pile of whipped cream. There you see her conjuring the power of oh her clam hole. What's going on here? No, no, don't do it. She's oh, gonna no. suplex right I said to reversal. Out. I said to reversal. God damn it. There it is. There, she, oh, no. No, no. Almost it's gonna to be the ugly. Face. Oh. Right there. There she came with a left hook. No, no, oh, him no, no, no. Unbelievable. Watch this. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, oh, must I remember. Remind you, stupid fucking assholes. These are two bitches. Now, why do you always have to disrespect us when you get excited, Guido? Because I don't fucking know. I'm fucking scared two There's bitches. Sweet bitch ass fading out. Shut your fucking here. mouth. Guido, I see please. two bitches rolling around a fucking park wire, and it makes my fucking blood wear. Tom Dub, no. Tom Dub, get Guido something to drink. God damn it. Now, listen. Right. Oh, there he is. God damn it. He's, in tears. He's got to be feeling that. Jesus. He has got to be feeling that. That's real, ladies and gentlemen. That is sweet, sexy ass, his boyfriend, sweet bitch ass. His wife right is there. putting her life on the line to bring home the bacon in that family, and he's in tears. Well, let sweet me bitch you. ass, sweet bitch ass, and sweet sexy ass together have been a, a, a item personally well known. The public knows all about it here in Ephidius, Japan. They know all about it, that they are a couple and they're in love, and this has got to be tearing him up emotionally, Guido. Well, as Lush as Johnny was saying, they're here to bring home the bacon. But if they're going for bacon, my guess is going to go to Sweaty Ned. It appears uh, she eats a little too much bacon and swine and pork products properly greased. There well, it's a well-known fact that she has to have a slab of raw, a slab of raw hog before every match and a side of lettuce and bacon grits if you before see every dinner. She's, she's conjuring the power of the clam hole. She's mustering all her power into one fist. Sweaty Ned is the master of the clam hold, suffocating opponents and ending their careers in the ring. That's right, the legendary clam hold. It looks I wouldn't like mind a clam hold from Sexy Ned, though. Or Sexy Sweet, not Sexy... The nah, skinny bitch, goddammit. Let me tell you bitch. something about the clam hold. 
The clam hole has been around for many years, and her mother taught her that hole. Back in the day, her mother, Stanky Ned, no, her mother's name is Clammy Cleopatra the Clitoris Queen. She comes from Uganda, and she is one of the headhunters. Uh, uh, Kamala's younger sister's brother. Looks and she like also she holds on the clam. She may right be there. setting up for a cross-arm breaker there. I don't know. If this move goes as I see correctly, the match could be over right here. There it was. Oh. Now the she's fat going bitch for the got Two. Three. A very oh. dead. Now, Guido. And Guido. Listen, that fat bitch took the rough out. Guido, that was a very dangerous position. And I'm sure her husband knows it's sitting ringside. Get that, given that position, she gave Armageddon. A perfect example, a perfect opportunity to put her in the clam hole. 3D. Well, any position you put her in could be dangerous. She could bust out with a barbed wire and strike it across your balls at any moment. Now, right there, look at that sexy ass is having trouble standing on those feeble legs. Look at those feeble fucking legs. She's got the uh, LA Gear pink knee pads on. But them aren't knee pads at all. Them are leggy warmers. Jittery. Now, I happen to know that uh, sexy ass shaves her muff. In order for this match, uh, I hear Sweaty Ned has a super wild blush. Right here, it looks like a. So, oh my god! <laughs> oh no! I she didn't see what I just out. seen, did Hold I? Hold the fuck up! Play that again! God damn it! What the fuck was that? Here it is again! Oh my god! <laughs> Her neck has to be broken. Oh, Holy god. shit! There it is again! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> In my 13 years of wrestling, never have I withstand a move like that. Spa! Spa! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't fucking believe oh, what I'm saying! The neck is broken! Oh my Holy god! Holy fuck! There you see sexy ass Sassafras looking over the damage that she's done. I don't know what to do. She doesn't know what to do. Guido, what would you do? Shut the fuck up! Did you mother? Oh, She's God bleeding to death internally through the neck area. Did you see what happened to the neck? All that weight, ladies and gentlemen. Single mini fans. All that weight. Oh my God. What's this? Hold it up. She's gonna put her in the clam cricket. Clam. Right here. Oh my God. She broke her neck once, and then she broke her neck twice. Damn, it's over! Without a doubt, Let me tell you something. Down. When you get power bombed, your knees aren't supposed to fucking touch the ground. Back to the classics match, ladies and gentlemen. I smell a spine reconstruction. Let's see the conclusion of this. Holy shit. Here we got the fortified Hooligan going toe to toe with the Mask Cabana. We've got to see this. Look at that karate chumps left and right. Now the Mask Cabana is responding with some karate of his own. They we don't fight know. like women. And look at his manager, the concern. His manager, Vinitazzi Stefioko, is very concerned. The mask off. You're masking. We'll now see who the mask cabana is. No, we won't. The mask cabana has had that mask on for 14 years, and he is not about to let it go. A reversal. Oh now let's God. see who the fortified hooligan is. Cabana is well, going to talk about the fortified hooligan using karate. The mask cabana is doing a good job of himself and doing karate. He's now going he's for the mask. I off. smell a revealing here. Let's see who the fortified hooligan is, because cabana has finally turned the situation uh -huh. around, and he's pulling the mask off. Who is it going to be? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Cabana, on the edge of your seat, it's what the Wolfman. The oh, my fuck? God. What the, <laughs> what the hell is that? Ladies and gentlemen, it's a fucking <laughs> werewolf. Werewolf. <laughs> oh, a shit. Right. Rapid giving everyone standard karate chop. Ladies and gentlemen, the police are in the ring. Oh, my God. The, it's a fucking werewolf. He's oh. karate chopping the police's faces. What the fuck? Out, one Oh it's my the fucking God. It's Cabana! It's the fucking the world! The fans are going crazy! This is why you've never seen this footage! It has been obtained by the police! But we had Stranglemania have acquired the footage, and you're witnessing it! It hasn't been seen for 75 years! They're pulling out their guns! Oh my God! They shot him! I can't believe he's a He has no effect! He has a oh werewolf shit. revival! He will not be stopped! It's what? a bet! Ladies and gentlemen, he's what? gone! What? Jesus Christ, let's go to our main event! I can't believe it! Oh my god! That was Ladies one of the stupidest fucking things I've ever seen in my fucking life! Greedy, how's your heart? Guido, I acquired that footage myself. And you're gonna go ahead on National Strangle Vision, and you are gonna call it stupid. That's you realize I can't stop. believe that. He just turned into a fucking bat! I've never seen such a display of fucking stupid shit in my life. You didn't see the karate blow? A fucking werewolf that gets shot and then turns into a bat. That's not believable. Wait, oh, That's shut, not even wrestling. Shut your fucking cocksucker! Damn it, 3D, would you turn his mic off? Shut your fucking cocksucker too, Luscious! 
This is the main event. Drunk Terry Flunk, 114 years old, is going up against asshole Andy Armageddon in an exploding ring match. That's the late right. great son of Rocky Montoya, asshole Armageddon, in this match ready to rip shit up. And I'll tell you guys something. You hit the fucking hammer now right on the fucking shaft there. You hit it right on the fucking girth, 3D, because those motherfucking barbed wire pieces outside of the ring, they explode. Oh, really? Now, wait a minute. Right here would be a good opportunity to take a look at asshole Andy Armageddon and make the call whether or not that's sweaty Eddie Armageddon. Now, I'm going to go with this speculation right here. I'm going to go ahead and say that asshole Andy Armageddon has a pussy underneath his balls, and he can easily switch to a woman just by hiding his penis into his pussy. And next thing you know, he's a woman. He can wear spandex trunks, and you can't see the lump. Yes. It very well could be true, but see, I or was training. Or he simply hides his penis in his butt. Same difference. Now, in my 13 years of being a wrestler, I trained along him and along the side of Terry Triple Nipple Williams. And I can guarantee you that he is all hermaphrodite all day. All right. Drunk Terry Flunk. This fucking match sucks. Drunk Terry. What? I want to look at something one more time if you guys don't mind. All right, all right. Just one more time here for our viewers at Stranglemania 2. Let's Ladies look at this gentlemen. one more time. Sweaty Nettin taking it to the neck with all her fat ass. Oh! <laughs> oh, one more oh, time. Yeah. Oh! Look at this, Guido. Watch this. Oh, my God. <laughs> look as the neck <laughs> bends into <laughs> the chest <laughs> <just> area. <laughs> Totally Look at that not shit. human. Holy I'm sorry. Shit. Let's get back to the main event. We know I'm sorry. I had to He's gonna throw him in the bombs. Oh, he's not. Flunk is too fucking old to hit those bombs. And if Flunk hits those fucking bombs, he's got cat -like fucking reflexes. pieces of old man all over this fucking stadium. Those bombs will blow his fucking jelly bones apart. Now, Flunk, mind you, is about seven years older than he was at Stranglemania 1. He now is a hundred and 34 years old. That's right. I this bone a... structure is made out of the same material as marshmallow cream. I have a question for you, Guido. Yes. Is it true to the speculation that Terry Flunk is actually the three-eyed scarab wearing a mask? Is that true? Let me tell you something. That is all speculation, goddammit. Well, well, Chuck I mean, Terry Flunk is a living legend, goddammit. He might be 114 nature. years old. Oh, 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 oh God. That, that was very close. fucking close. Now, wait a minute. That's saying the same thing as asking if is asshole Andy really has a pussy between his butt cheeks. That's all up in the air right now. That's very, very possible. But there's no fucking connection between Terry Flunk and the nipple flip you. Oh, wait, wait, right wait. There. He's going for the arm sandwich, and he doesn't quite get it. Now, Guido, I want to make a point right now about our an unbelievable main event. This match is not a match to the winner. It is not a match to the submitter. It is not a match to even the loser. It is a match to, to the, the death. death. This is Strangle fucking Mania 2. Of course it's a match to the death. These are all death matches. The only way you win is to fucking kill your opponent. I want to make a point right now about uh, Armageddon's stupid-looking fucking camouflage pants. He got them at the Army-Navy store for $4.99. Although this time he is wearing boots. He is wearing boots because the barbed wire is extra prickly today. Armageddon back on his feet, taking advantage of Flunk. Flunk putting his ass up in the air, now hoping that Armageddon will, Andy Armageddon asshole, will like uh, use his asshole for his pleasure Watch chest. this right here, reversal by Flunk. Oh, no. Flunk, oh, he shot you. Oh, right no. there. shit. Oh, oh, holy shit. We almost saw the end of fucking Fat Boy right there in the flesh. Now, look at this right here. Drunk Terry Flunk. Lost to the infamous Lord of Death Matches. And by that, I'm talking to the one and only Cactus Sack. That's right, Cactus fucking Sack. Terry Flunk lost to Cactus Sack on Stranglemania 1 right from Hiroshi, Japan. And now he's back, and he's been on the comeback trail ever since, Luscious. And he's on it, he's got his disco stripes back on, and his black panties, and he's ready to do damage all over asshole. I'll tell you what, 3D. Very true. He might have got his ass whipped on the last Stranglemania by Cactus Sack. But nonetheless, he's a fucking death match. Strangle Mania. Oh my oh, God! Oh, that it could shit very was well fucking be over. Now, wait a minute. I have once again brought a guest to the table. I want to bring a guest to the table. Somebody that actually constructs the barbed wire. I have from the shipyard of Columbus, Missouri. I have brought with me Jed Thumpman, who's in charge of shipping and deck and, and shipping and docking, and he's got barbed wire fences all over the warehouse. Jed Thumpman, welcome to Strangle Mania. 
What's up, yo? Now, I want you to tell me about the barbed wire. How deep does it penetrate the flesh? How dangerous is this so-called barbed wire? Well, it depends on what kind you get. I mean, you can get as far as a three-foot gas if you get the right razor wire. So what is the difference between razor wire and barbed wire? And what are we looking at here on Stranglemania from Napoleon, Japan? Uh, basically, uh, what I'm seeing here is Terry Flunk taking advantage of, of his cat-like reflexes from falling towards the ground. I don't want to know about the wrestling, you fuck. Tell oh. me about the barbed wire. What kind of barbed wire? Is oh. that razor wire or is that barbed wire? Well, you, got a, you, got a, wire. you got a three centimeter pointed razor wire intent. Now that's, that's, that's cubic zirconia running through that there. Now that's hot. That, oh, it's heated barbed wire. Is he, it electrified. Electrified barbed wire. Terry right. It's about to go over the head. Ted Thumpet, thank you for coming. All right, thank There's, you very uh, much. coffee and hot wings in the, in the green room. All right, thank Now, you. back to Struggle Mania, Guido. Look at this right here. You have got drunk Terry Flunk taking a beating, but you have to admit, a man of that age, a man of any age, he is incredible, and he can take damage. That's just like I was saying before, Tweety, before you really interrupted me with your stupid fucking friend and didn't tell her shit. Now, drunk Terry Flunk. Yeah, oh, there's his manager, Classy Eddie Abbas. That's yes. right. Classy Terry Albert Flunk's Abbas. manager, Classy Albert Abbas, has got a flaming chair to slap against oh my God. the asshole Andy Armageddon. Wait, now, wait. like I was saying, oh. now, Terry Flunk, yes, it's true, he got his ass whipped before, but he's a living legend, God damn it. There's he no fucking way. is a deathmatch veteran Get battle war. You Wait, can't hit he the threw it at Ernie fucker. Abbott. He threw it right at Ernie yeah. Abbott. He threw it yes. at the referee. He did not throw it at his All manager. Right. Let me tell you something. Courteous and, and Albert Awesome is definitely a top-notch fucking manager, and there's no way Drunk Terry Flunk's going to hurt his own man. When Drunk Terry Flunk lost the cat to Cactus Sack in 1994, the first thing he did on his comeback trail was he acquired the skills of amazing Ernie Abbott. And ever since then, he has been on the comeback trail. There, there you see him again. Amazing Ernie. What's he giving him this time? It looks like the cross branding iron. He's going to light it on fire. It's the triple X ranch branding iron. There we have the X handed off by Tony Abbas to Terry Flunk. He's ready. He's heating it. It's piping hot. Now, right there, ever since Terry Flunk has acquired the skills of acrobatic Emily Abbas, you will see that he has become... Oh, oh, oh my God! And there it is! It oh, one more oh camera! My. Oh, my God! Right in the fucking exploding mine, barbed oh wire! There's God. no coming Razor back from that, sucks. fellas. There's no coming back from that. I think Terry Flunk is victorious this time around, Guido! I bet you one thing. Anakin Abbas is more than happy right now. Oh, yes. That was his doing. Oh, that yes. Was, that was... Amazing Anakin Abbas is doing in lighting the branding iron and handing it to Flunk. Flunk distracted asshole Andy Armageddon and led him into the barbed wire bed of I'll death. I'll tell you, that's why fucking asshole Andy Gettin's in the barbed wire right now. Because courteous Alice Abbas gave Terry Flunk the burning axe. Which that is fucking fat bitch ass into that fucking barbed wire. See, see, there's Eric Abbott on the side with Terry Funk. Eric Abbott's right there behind Flunk. Now there you have Flunk, still provoking. He's putting glass on his back. Now watch, watch right here, Guido. Watch right there. You see, you see, Andy Armageddon shaking his head, saying no. I'm not playing this wrestling shit no more. This is real. I'm really I'm hurt. fucking hurt for real. He's fucking dead. That guy on no, the stage is stabbing him in the ass with a now, stick. Now notice Terry Flunk leaving him alone because he's hurt for real, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck no, he ain't gonna leave him alone. He's gonna poke him with a fire stick. He's right still up provoking his fucking him. Asshole. I haven't seen Terry Flunk this hot since he managed the amazing Peter Lovebush back in the day. Yes, but he's hot right now. He's very hot right there he now. Is. He's it. gonna catch him on fire. Look, look, look. look. Armageddon signal to him. Again. I'm really hurt. Armageddon. He's putting out the fire. Arm. Once again, Armageddon not playing right now. Not He's wrestling. Really not entertaining. He's hurt. Terry Flunk's trying what to What the hell is Alexi Abbas doing on the side provoking this all the while? Alexis Abbas is the one that's responsible for the death of asshole he's Andy him. Armageddon. He said he's done wrestling and he's clearly branding his ass. Let me tell you something right I'm now, God damn it. Let me tell you something right now. Calm down, Luscious Johnny. I'm not through with this. This Johnny. Ridiculous. Johnny. Oh, he's beating up. And it's in fact That's Velvet fire. Curtain Leg. That is Velvet Curtain Leg. I velvet Curtain Leg. Just an usher boy that works 
for the Syphilis Arena. And you'll see in the background right there, Courteous Lenny Ablis is behind him with the board, and he's encouraging Flunk to keep on with this brutality. God there in the it. back, gorgeous Gary Grant getting ready, holding Terry Flunk back. Who the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about the cameraman, gorgeous Gary Glenn. That's cameraman number four. Get the fuck away from him. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner of the main event of Strangle Mania 2. Right. And that winner is a 145-year-old legend, deathmatch legend, drunk Terry Flunk. And we look know. at this. This motherfucker in the barbed wire is dead. And drunk Terry Flunk could give two fucks about it. And who else better to deserve it than drunk Terry Flunk? What God happened to the integrity and professionalism in the wrestling sport today? Let me look at something. something new, Luscious Johnny. This You're not looking at a death match. This is the death match, Luscious Johnny. I don't know what you thought you were going to see, but you are witnessing Strangle Mania! I wanted to like, see some sportsmanship like professional hey, wrestling. Hey, fuck this you! Is you suck my dick, player. you faggot! My dick, get, 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 oh, you motherfucker! I'll fuck you up! Get the fuck out of here! You son of a bitch! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. This is Strangle fucking Mania 2, goddammit! Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, pussy shit! Wait a minute! Words from Flunk! Guido, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit your friend. Fuck him! Let's hear what Terry Flunk has to say. Talk louder, asshole. Yes, he's dead. He doesn't even have the name right. He's talking about FMW, fucking mad wrestling. You're a piece of shit. Ooh. They call him a piece of fucking shit. Now right there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen of Strangle Mania 2. And there Trump, is. Terry Funk, and laying down in the bed of bloody barbed wire is none other than asshole Andy Armageddon, the legend himself. But now not proven to be a legend, more or less proven to be a myth, because he's not tough. He's only a pansy bitch and with of a course, pussy Flunk, under his nuts. Flunk in the ring with his manager Get Larry Abbas. Ladies and gentlemen, way. my name is Diamond Donovan Douglas, better known as Three... And I'm handsome Harley Guistella, better known as Guido. And, and my friend, who's going to pick uh, his... I'm luscious Johnny Stark. And this has been Strangle uh, Fucking Mania 2. Woo! Uh, Guess will be one empty seat when I wrestle at Wimbledon. I used to tear my shirt, but now you tore my heart. I knew you were a hulkamaniac right from the very start. Right from the start.